My name is Amy Everling. I'm the executive director of the Salish Sea School. Part of our mission is to empower students as citizen scientists. In the process of doing so, we collect and pass valuable data that aids the great work our local scientists are accomplishing. Today we want to introduce you to one of our partner organizations here in Anacortes, Pacific Mammal Research. We also want to introduce you to the research director, Dr. Cindy Elliser. Cindy and her team have helped to train our students to collect harbor porpoise and pinniped data, and we want to share her important work with you. Hi students, my name is Dr. Cindy Elliser, and I'm the research director at Pacific Mammal Research. One unique thing about our study is that we do photo identification of harbor porpoises. The biggest problem with harbor porpoises is that we don't know enough about their population to understand what to do to protect them. And so that's why it's so important for us to understand more about their population in the Salish Sea. I often get asked how I got here. Well, it started in the desert. Um, I grew up in New Mexico, but I've always loved marine mammals ever since I was little for as long as I can remember. And that's what I've always wanted to do. So I had to get to water, so I went to Florida and I got to do research there, lucky enough to swim with dolphins in the Bahamas. It's not a bad gig. Um, but after that, I, I, got a, I learned a lot and it, we got called out here to the Pacific Northwest um, and I learned about these harbor porpoises that we know very little about. And so that kind of drew me out here to use the information and the skills that I learned in the Bahamas to be able to shed light on this species that is little known. Welcome to our study site. This is Burroughs Pass and Burroughs Bay. We see harbor porpoises all along this area here, and you're gonna come visit our study site in the boat, but you're also going to visit other areas of the Salish Sea. And all the data that you collect, whether it's here or out there, is super important for our research. Because harbor porpoises are pretty small. Pretty small means about five or five and a half feet and about 150 pounds compared to a dolphin, which can get up to 1,200 pounds and seven, eight, nine feet. Their dorsal fins are six, seven inches tall, um, and they're more triangular in shape, whereas a dolphin has a more curved fin. Rarely gonna see a dolphin in the Salish Sea. We have Pacific white-sideds, but that's not very common. Um, and the other more common one is the orca. The easiest way to tell the difference is the orca dorsal fins are feet in length rather than inches. You might ask, how do you tell the difference between an individual harbor porpoise? And that's a great question. We use pigmentation patterns on the side of the animal, as well as other scars and markings that are stable over time. And by taking those pictures, we can match individuals from different locations and at different times to understand more about their population. One of the fun things about photo ID is we get to name the animals. For example, this one's name is Jaws, named because the two-tone coloration that she has is very striking, very similar to a great white shark. Photo ID can tell us a lot. It can tell us who's coming back to a particular area and possibly why. Is it just mothers and calves? Is it males? It can also tell us about their society. Do they have best friends? Do they have long-term relationships or short-term relationships? How do those social interactions work in between different populations or communities? And that can tell us about the risks for disease spread, um, the risk to a particular population as to whether they're going to do well or, um, or not. Um, so there's a lot that we can learn from photo ID and understanding the individuals and what they are doing in their daily lives for the health of the whole population. The research that we're doing is so important, but there's only a couple of us researchers that can be out at any given time. So that's where you guys come in. It's so important and so helpful to have more eyes on the water, more data being collected when we can't be out there. And the more we get, the more we'll understand these, these animals and their population. So your help and your citizen science and your data that you collect is greatly helpful to our research in helping these animals.